Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Choking. Introduction. Food or small objects can cause choking if they get caught in your throat and block your airway. This prevents oxygen from getting to your lungs and brain. Without oxygen, you may suffer brain damage or die. Choking is a leading cause of death for young children. Knowing how to prevent choking and what to do when you or someone else begins to choke can save lives. This program explains choking and how to respond to it in an emergency. It includes information about common causes of choking, how to recognize the signs of choking, and how to prevent or respond to choking. Anatomy The airway When we breathe in, the air goes through our mouth and nose. At the back of the mouth, there are two tubes. The esophagus is the tube that takes food to the stomach. The trachea is the tube that takes air to the lungs. A flap covers the trachea when we swallow. This directs food into the esophagus and prevents it from entering the trachea, or air tube. Choking happens when food enters the trachea. Choking Food or small objects can cause choking if they get caught in your throat. You may start coughing or be unable to breathe. When the airway is completely blocked, oxygen cannot enter the lungs. The brain must have oxygen to survive. Without it, the brain begins to die within four to six minutes. Complete brain death can happen in as little as ten minutes. Choking can happen in people of all ages, but children and older adults are the most at risk. Choking is a leading cause of injury and death among children, especially those younger than three years of age. Children can choke on foods like hot dogs, nuts, and grapes. They can also choke on small objects like toy pieces and coins. When someone is choking, quick action can be life-saving. Learn how to recognize the signs of choking and how to respond in an emergency. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Signs of Choking This section explains common signs of choking. Knowing these signs can help you respond if you or someone nearby starts to choke. Before a person begins to choke, he or she may have a fit of coughing or gagging. He or she may also make wheezing noises. This happens before the airway is completely obstructed and may be the first sign of choking. When people choke, they are unable to get air through the airway. This means that the person can't cry, talk, breathe, or cough. In very rare instances, a person may be able to do some of these things with great effort. If you believe someone is choking, ask them to say something. Ask a simple question like, are you okay? They may shake their head to say no. If they cannot talk, they are likely choking. A person who is choking may give visual clues like using hand signals to show that he or she can't breathe. The universal sign for choking is using your hands to grab the bottom of the neck. Being unable to breathe may cause a person to panic. A person who is choking may become anxious or agitated. He or she may look scared and tense. Choking may cause a person to turn blue or dusky in color. This may be most evident around the face, lips, and under the fingernails. Eventually a person who is choking may pass out. He or she may faint and go limp due to a loss of oxygen supply to the brain. If a baby is choking, it may not be as easy to notice. A baby cannot make the universal choking sign. You may need to pay more attention to a baby's physical appearance and behaviors to recognize signs of choking. 
Signs of choking in an infant include trouble breathing, in which the ribs and chest pull inward, weak cry, weak cough, unable to cry, bluish skin color, loss of consciousness, soft or high-pitched sounds while inhaling. Causes and Risk Factors In adults, food is the most common cause of choking. If you do not chew your food properly to break it into smaller pieces before swallowing, you may choke. Certain behaviors while eating a meal may cause choking. Talking or laughing with food in your mouth could cause a piece of food to go down the wrong pipe and cause choking. Using drugs or alcohol can impair the body and cause choking. Normal swallowing may be slowed if a person has been drinking alcohol or taking drugs. These substances can also impair your judgment, which may result in swallowing more food than you can safely handle. Some people are more likely to choke than other people. For example, children age 4 and younger and adults age 65 years or older have the greatest risk for choking. This makes age a risk factor for choking. Certain health conditions also raise the risk for choking. These include illnesses that affect the nervous system, diseases that affect the muscles, such as multiple sclerosis, Damage to the esophagus, such as from chronic acid reflux or heartburn. Structural differences in the mouth or neck, such as cleft lip or palate. Injuries can also affect swallowing and raise your risk for choking. These may include surgeries to correct neck problems. First aid. First aid is emergency treatment given to a sick or injured person until full medical treatment is available. First aid is best given by someone trained and certified in the delivery of first aid. This type of training is available in most communities. Choking is an emergency. It must be treated quickly before it leads to unconsciousness. The goal of treatment is to remove the object that is blocking the airway. This may be done using the following techniques. Back blows. Abdominal thrusts, also known as the Heimlich maneuver. Back blows are firm strikes to the area between the shoulder blade using the heel of the hand. The other arm is used to support the choking person while leaning him or her slightly forward so their back is straight across, parallel to the floor. Abdominal thrusts are quick jabs to the abdomen. This is done while standing behind the person and leaning him or her slightly forward. One hand makes a fist just above a person's navel. The other hand grabs the fist. Quick upward thrusts are given by pressing hard into the abdomen. To help someone who is pregnant or obese, place your hand a little higher. It should be right above where the lower ribs join. Back blows and abdominal thrusts are a part of first aid. First aid should be performed before calling 911 or your emergency number for help. It works best when it is performed by a person trained and certified in first aid. This type of training can also teach you how to perform first aid on yourself as well as on babies. If a person loses consciousness, lay the person gently on their back and check if you can see food stuck in their throat. If you see it, use a finger to fish it out. Be careful not to push the food further down, especially in children. If the food will not come out and the person still isn't responding, you may need to perform CPR. People who are not trained in CPR can still call a 911 operator to walk them through how to give CPR. Prevention Choking is most likely to happen during mealtime. You can prevent choking by taking steps to make meals safer. Drinking alcohol before eating can make the muscles of the neck more relaxed. Drinking too much can also affect your judgment. Limit how much you drink before meals. Swallowing less food at once makes you less likely to choke. Cutting up your food, taking small bites, and chewing well can help. Certain foods are often the cause of choking in young children. These include nuts, popcorn, Hard candy. Whole grapes. Always cut foods like grapes and hot dogs into small bites in case children swallow them without chewing. 
Children younger than age four are at risk for choking on small objects. Items like balloons, marbles, and toys can be dangerous for young children. Toys usually come with a safety label showing the recommended age. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Food or small objects can cause choking if they get caught in your throat and block your airway. This prevents oxygen from getting to your lungs and brain. Without oxygen, you may suffer brain damage or die. Using drugs or alcohol can impair the body and cause choking. Choking may also happen if you eat too fast or take too big of a bite of food. Certain health conditions also raise the risk for choking. Young children may choke by putting small objects into their mouths. When a person is choking, they are unable to get air through the airway. This means that the person often can't cry, talk, breathe, or cough. Most people respond to choking by grabbing their throat with one or both hands. This is the universal sign for choking. Signs of choking in an infant include Trouble breathing, in which the ribs and chest pull inward. Weak cry. Weak cough. Unable to cry. Bluish skin color. Loss of consciousness. Soft or high-pitched sounds while inhaling. Choking is an emergency. It must be treated quickly before it leads to unconsciousness. The goal of treatment is to remove the object that is blocking the airway. This may be done using the following techniques. Back blows. Abdominal thrusts, also known as the Heimlich maneuver. First aid is emergency treatment given to a sick or injured person until full medical treatment is available. First aid is best given by someone trained and certified in the delivery of first aid. This type of training is available in most communities. Items like balloons, marbles, and toys can be dangerous for young children. Toys usually come with a safety label showing the recommended age. Swallowing less food at once makes you less likely to choke. Cutting up your food, taking small bites, and chewing well can help. By taking extra care to avoid choking hazards and knowing how to respond in a choking emergency, you can save lives. Thank you for using Explain.